Double checking drug dosage calculations is not just best practice, it's a life saving habit. Let's explore checking calculations. Nurses should always verify their answers for drug dosage calculations, as accurate dosing is crucial for patient safety. It helps prevent medication errors. Miscalculations can lead to overdosing, which can cause toxicity, or underdosing, which can result in ineffective treatment. Even small errors, especially in pediatrics or critical care, can be dangerous. It ensures patient safety. Double-checking calculations help prevent harm or even fatal outcomes. Patients trust healthcare professionals to administer medications safely and correctly. It's professional accountability. Nurses are legally and ethically responsible for the medications they administer. Checking calculations demonstrates due diligence and helps maintain professional standards. You avoid legal consequences. Medication errors can result in lawsuits, disciplinary actions, or loss of license. Proper checks serve as a safeguard and record of careful practice. You promote team safety culture. Being vigilant with dosage calculations encourages a culture of safety among the healthcare team. It's a good example and supports collaborative error prevention. And you catch system or prescriber errors. Sometimes the error is not the nurses, but the prescription, the wrong unit or decimal point. Nurses are a key line of defense in the medication administration process. Before you do mathematical checks, use logic and reasonableness to check your answer. Logic helps you verify that your answer is both clinically and mathematically sound. Is the answer reasonable? Ask yourself, does it look too high or too low? Is it realistic to administer? Can you actually give this volume or number of tablets? Not 20 tablets or a 100 milliliter IV push. Use your medical knowledge or drug guide. Is the amount too high or too low for the norms for this medication? It's a quick error check. It helps catch obvious mistakes like giving 10 tablets instead of one. If a result seems too high or too low, you can stop and recheck. Here's an example. There's an order for 125 milligrams. You have available 250 milligram tablets. Your math says to give two tablets. Your logic says wait. Two times 250 is 500. That's four times too much. Use your logic. 125 is half of 250. You need half a tablet. Use common sense or estimate the ballpark answer. The order is 100 milligrams. You have available 50 milligrams per 5 milliliters. Your math says to give 10 milliliters. 5 milliliters equals 50 milligrams. So 10 milliliters would equal 100 milligrams. Seems logical. Estimation helps you ballpark an answer before doing exact math. Estimation means rounding the numbers to simpler, easy to work with values before or after the actual calculation to help you predict what the answer should be roughly. You can round the numbers for easier thinking. Round the desired dose, the available dose, or the volume to something close and easy. For example, we have an order 375 milligrams. We have available 250 milligrams per tablet. 375 is close to 400. 250 times 2 equals 500 is too much. 250 times 1 equals 250. That's not enough. So logically, you'll need about uh, one and a half tablets. Here's an order, 180 milligrams. You have available 100 milligrams in 5 milliliters. You estimate to check. 100 milligrams in 5 milliliters. So that's about 20 milligrams per ml. That's a rough estimate. 180 milligrams divided by 20 milligrams per milliliter equals 9 milliliters. The estimate confirms your calculation. After estimating or using reasonableness, you should use mathematical checks, the reverse check, which is a universal, reliable safety step in all med math. You multiply the amount you plan to give by the concentration or dosage strength to make sure that it matches the prescribed dose. Here's an example. The medication order is lisinopril, 15 milligrams daily. The medication supplied is lisinopril 10 milligram tablets. How much should you administer? You come up with the answer 1.5 tablets. The amount to give is 1.5 tablets. You multiply that by the concentration of the medication, which is lisinopril 10 milligrams per one tablet, 
and that gives you 15 milligrams. Okay, the prescribed dose is 15 milligrams, so your calculation is correct. Here's another example. The medication order is heparin, 2,000 units twice daily. The medication supplied is heparin, 10,000 units in a two milliliter vial. How much should you administer? When you multiply the amount to give, 0.4 milliliters, by the concentration, you want to know how much drug in units the patient is actually going to be getting. But this only works easily if the concentration is per one milliliter. Then each milliliter you give contributes exactly that many milligrams. So if the concentration is 10,000 units per two mLs, how much is in one mL? 10,000 divided by two equals 5,000 units per one mL. You always divide the amount of the drug by the volume to get the correct concentration per one mL. So the amount to give, 0.4 milliliters, is multiplied by the concentration of the medication, 5,000 units per one mL, and that gives you 2,000 units, the prescribed dose. So in reverse checking, you already have the volume to give in milliliters. You want to confirm the correct dose is being delivered. That's easiest when the concentration is per one milliliter. So your units match and it becomes a simple milliliter by milligrams per milliliter, and that equals your milligram calculation. Here's the last example. The medication order is norepinephrine, 0.1 micrograms per kilogram per minute. The medication supplied is norepinephrine, 8 milligrams in 250 milliliters of D5W. The patient's weight is 70 kilograms. What do you set the IV pump at? And the answer comes out to be 13.1 milliliters per hour. How do you check this? This is a weight-based order. You calculate the prescribed dose by multiplying 0.1 micrograms by 70, which equals 7 micrograms per minute. That is your prescribed dose that you're going to check for. So you multiply 13.1 milliliters per hour, that's the amount to be administered, by your concentration available. You calculate the concentration available by dividing the amount of the drug by the volume. 8 milligrams divided by 250 mLs equals 0.032 milligrams. But before multiplying this, convert the milligrams to micrograms because the prescribed dose is in micrograms. So 0.032 milligrams over 1 times 1,000 micrograms over 1 milligram equals 32 micrograms. Now, multiply the amount to be administered, 13.1 milliliters per hour, times the concentration, which is 32 micrograms, and you get 419.2 micrograms per hour. But you need to convert the hours to minutes because that's what is in the prescribed dose. So you take the 419.2 micrograms over one hour times the conversion factor, one hour over 60 minutes, and you get 6.98 or 7 micrograms per minute, the prescribed dose. Always make sure you convert your answers back to the units of the prescribed medication. The reverse method is the easiest method for checking your calculation answers. It's quick. It's a simple multiplication, often easier than redoing the whole calculation. It gives you visual confirmation. You see clearly if your result gives you the correct dose. It works with any form, tablets, liquids, injections. It works for all dosage forms. And it's a common practice. Nurses, pharmacists, med students, doctors, they use it to double check before administration. Checking drug dosage calculations is not just best practice, it's a life-saving habit. Do it with all your calculations. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, give it a like, share it with your classmates or coworkers, and subscribe for more nursing education content. You can find more videos at nursevideohub.com. Watch, learn, and care.